So let's say I'm given a geometric sequence like this, and I want to be able to write down the nth term of this sequence. Okay? So in order to find the nth term, uh, I have it in this format. I need to find the first term. Well, I could easily identify what the first term is. It's got to be 8. Um, but what can be more tricky is finding the common ratio r. Okay? Sometimes it's blindingly obvious, but in other cases, maybe like this one, you can't see it initially. Okay? You can't spot what I'm multiplying by each time. So in that case, how do you work it out? Well, there's quite a nice, easy way of working out the common ratio. And all you need to do is to divide one number in the sequence by the previous term. So we can do 2 fifths divided by 8. OK? Um, and that will get me the common ratio. Or you could have done 1 50th divided by 2 fifths, or 1 1 thousandth divided by 1 50th. OK? It doesn't matter which two you choose. So 2 fifths divided by 8 gets us 1 over 20. So I'm multiplying by 1 over 20 each time. So the nth term is 8 times 1 over 20 to the n minus 1. Now make sure that if it is a fraction like this, that you put a bracket around the fraction so that then you can write it to the n minus 1. Okay? Don't leave it like this because that means it's 8 times 1 to the n minus 1 over 20. It's not telling me to put the whole fraction to the power of n minus 1. Okay? So make sure you use a bracket.